Hey, it's Riley from Gadget here, and I'm really excited to show off our newly released Gadget CLI, as well as its first major feature, FileSync. FileSync's gonna allow me to clone my Gadget project files into my local dev environment so I can use my favorite code editor, linters and lint rules, test runners, as well as source control so that multiple developers can work on the same Gadget project. So I've got a fork of our product tagger tutorial here. You can see I've got this apply tags file, as well as all the other standard uh, files we create for you when you create a Shopify connection. And I want to start making changes to this product, but I want to use my local environment. At the bottom of our editor, there's a file sync button you can click that actually generates a snippet that you can directly run. So if I flip to my terminal and run this, it's actually going to clone my custom product tagger project files into a gadget custom product tagger folder. So this is going to install and clone the files. So it's up and running and FileSync will continue to run in the background and it's going to sync files between your local environment and the gadget project. So here we go. This is the project. The files have been synced. I can see apply tags is here. And so if I want to start making changes, I can go, you know, record.changed title, for example, and click Save. You see auto formatting has also applied. If I flip back to my gadget project, we see, yep, okay, record.change title, and we see the same formatting. Changes also go from the gadget editor to your local environment while the sync is running. So I can go, you know, rileystore.myshopify.com, and if I flip back to my editor, perfect. We see those changes have persisted. FileSync is going to keep running until you manually stop it. For more information on FileSync, check out our documentation. We're really excited to see what you build with it. Happy coding.